and welcome to Triplicate, home of interesting electronics. And today, MIDI. Uh, quick show and tell really. I needed to test the MIDI output of the Casio digital horn before I could put it on eBay. And I realised I didn't have a MIDI interface on my laptop. Uh, my old uh, Windows 7 desktop computer, I had a Firewire interface on it which did MIDI and uh, audio, but uh, my new laptop, strangely enough, didn't come with a Firewire uh, output. So, I thought I would try and get a cheap MIDI interface and see how it worked. In the past I bought cheap MIDI interfaces and they've been terrible for latency so in the end I bought a decent interface to do MIDI and audio. So I thought I'd try this one which comes straight from China uh, unbranded, has no name on it still in the bag, I haven't tried it yet uh, and see how it performs. Now normally when I'm doing music I use either that baby or that keyboard both of which go straight into the computer via USB so I don't really use MIDI at all these days so to test a MIDI interface what we need is something that outputs some MIDI and something that inputs some MIDI so what was supposed to be a quick video turned into an all afternoon fight to actually generate some MIDI from somewhere because that guy has a MIDI output socket and this guy also has a MIDI output socket but I couldn't get either of them to work so in the end I settled on the good old Casio digital horn to generate me some MIDI incidentally while I was trying to get things to work I built myself a little MIDI tester and that's worth having a look at. So this is just a MIDI socket, five pin DIN socket with two LEDs soldered across pins four and five. The pins the MIDI's on. Let's see if we can zoom in on this and still say focused. What I actually did is a bit of a cheat. I soldered two LEDs on back to back, which saved me having to look up which way round the current goes uh, on MIDI. This works because a MIDI output is actually feeding into an opto isolator on the MIDI input, and an opto isolator is basically a photo, uh, an LED. So you can use an LED to test MIDI. So I'll just show this working. Well, one day I'll figure out which way the zoom goes on this camera. So oh yes, while we're here, this is my MIDI input. This is all I could find that works that shows MIDI input, which I can't even get in the camera frame. Uh, an ancient and venerable Roland U20 which will also probably be going on YouTube at some point okay so trying to do things one handed here yeah so we plug our MIDI lead into our tester turn on MIDI output device I've got the volume turned down so it's not confusing the issue you can 
just hear it going. And if we look at this, uh, three hands. Is very dim, yeah, but you can see the little yellow LED flashing as it's sending MIDI messages out. Which is a quick and quirk dirty way of knowing that your MIDI output is working. Right, so we plug this back into input socket of this here, a large synthesizer and so there I am clicking the key and you can hear the key clicking and you can hear the piano sound coming out of the synthesizer pretty good. So yes that's with a MIDI lead directly between the wind horn and the synthesizer. Okay, should we have a look at this MIDI interface? Okay, I'm going to turn you off and get it out of the back. Okay, so in the back we have some instructions and the interface itself. The first thing we notice is the interface comes with plugs on it. Every interface and every piece of MIDI equipment I've ever seen before has come with sockets on it you plug cables in. So it does seem to have reasonably long cables, but then if those cables aren't enough, you're in trouble. Unless you've got and socket to socket adapter. I guess it's just cheaper to make it that way and for five pounds that's what you get. You also get some instructions. If the camera will focus possibly if I hold it still. So which claims latest version with built-in driver USB powered and class compliant etc etc one in two out MIDI interface how does it work that out does one one of those plugs work for input and output we shall see LEDs indicate power on MIDI in signal MIDI out signal supports XP Vista and Windows 7 operating systems okay well we'll hope it works with Windows 10 so the instructions connect the cable in to MIDI out and then yeah 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 connect the cable marked out to MIDI in plug into, into USB into any socket open your music software set music programs MIDI in and MIDI out to USB audio device okay now ready for use always connect to the same USB okay so shall we do it shall we do it here's here's the USB into the okay So Windows device is ready, USB to MIDI, set up and ready to go. Okay, so now I shall open up Ableton Live and see if I can see it. Right, turn the camera off while I do it, because I'll need two hands probably. Okay, that was fairly easy to set up. Uh, re my earlier comments about having two plugs so as you can see the two wires hang up there and the 
the interface hangs wherever it has to hang. So I guess for any serious use, I'm going to have some way of converting those back to those things back to sockets. Um, okay, so we set up Ableton Live here. So we set up MIDI in from, and here it here it is. Very easy to see. USB 2.0 MIDI, and similarly MIDI 2. There it is, it appears as a MIDI output device, um, so does it work? And here we have, and it works. And the latency doesn't seem to be too bad. Um, what I might do is try and measure it. So it's the next morning and they're taking up the road outside and something's upset Minnie who's barking. However, we'll attempt to press on with this video. Last night I was trying to measure the latency round this MIDI interface uh, just by putting the oscilloscope on the actual MIDI connections because that's going to be the most accurate way of doing it. I tried doing it using the time difference between the digital horn sounding and the keyboard sounding, taking off the recordings, uh, the soundtrack of the video but that didn't work terribly accurately. So as I said, I was trying to do it straight off the MIDI, but unfortunately MIDI is auto-isolated and once I tried connecting grounds to things, I'm doing grounding this which is running off batteries to the computer ground, the USB ground, to the ground of the synthesizer and it all didn't work at all so I gave up so this morning this morning I was back to trying to do it via audio and make better recordings of the audio and I couldn't get any MIDI through so this was my troubleshooting We plug the MIDI lead into the horn. And we plug my little MIDI tester trying get this into the I'm doing in the camera into the MIDI lead and we fire a note on the horn Let's see if we can see that you can see a very faint flicker on the yellow LED which shows the horn is outputting MIDI okay so take that off we plug the input, that input of the MIDI interface into the horn. We play the horn and it's got input and output. I've actually freeze. Remember I've got this little MIDI aux program. This is very good just for testing and evaluating MIDI. And you can see it's of the note on and off events that's coming out of the horn and if we put that there it's outputting the MIDI again so in is from the horn and goes through the MIDI aux program and out to this connector here. 
Okay. But now, if I find my little MIDI tester and put it on the output of this, we see that the yellow LED is on continuously. So that's not going to work. And this is still... The interface still thinks it's working perfectly. But something bad has happened to the output. So, that's the end of that. So, I don't know whether I shall get another one and try it again. Assume I killed it with various bad ground connections trying to get the scope to work, or whether I assume that's just not very good. And, sort of on that rather sad note, I think we'll leave this video. So, thank you for watching. Subscribe if you like the channel. And comments if you've got any comments to leave. Uh, and I'll see you next time. Bye. That hasn't been out in a while.